But boy. Yeah, he's yeah he's limping. He's he's not wanting to put much pressure on that. So, but glad he's all right. Jeremy Brown, what a good job he's done so far today. Been right there, solid. He was flaming Jeremy Brown here about three weeks ago as he his clutch just ignited. What do they call that? The spontaneous combustion? Thanks, Tim Gilman. Well, we got about 30 minutes left. Uh, so if for some reason, the time expires. Don't worry, we'll be back. It just uh, we've got a, a three-hour limit, and uh, we may or may not get through all the second round of UAS action. So, but we will hustle up quick as we can. Also, want to give a shout out to uh, one of the sponsors helping me out with the Northwest Race Report. That's uh, O'Hagan's Cards and Supplies. They're in the process of uh, coming up north here from Atwater to offer the same great service. And uh, those of you you haven't lost them in Atwater, he's still uh, he'll mail you stuff, and they do cart stands, and they've got all kinds of aftermarket and OEM parts. So be sure you. Uh, Check them out. Uh, Brent Myers coming up, the Wisconsin Wiz. He's uh, what is he? He's probably in the uh, he's in the next flight. So yeah, the next flight will be. Uh, well, let's see here. Ah, you know, I don't know what happened to Meyer. He, I, I'm not sure. It's kind of crazy because uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not. That's a good question. Yeah, for sure. Bartlett and Watkins, that is a that's deja vu from the spring fling here a couple seasons ago. All right, so here we go, Commandant, giving the fire of the motors. Spare your leader, Hager second. Third is Markham. Underway. Markham's third. Jones is fourth, and Brandon Day in the fifth spot. Oh, look at Hager. He thought about it. So let's see. All I know is Rich Spear has got a motor on that thing. And there it is. Spear, Hager, Markham, Chuck Jones, and Brandon Day. I'll tell you, if the OH just keep that same aggression, but just, just you know, do like Diotti, just, just work that reel just a little bit, you know, just to take up the... He's going to be tough. All right. So on the chat board, somebody went, just asked, what happened to Brent Meyer? Nothing. He's on the front row along with Rusty Rossmeyer. The five is Trickle. The 23, Corey Markham. The 48 is Bill Dean. The 441 is Bill Story. And in that fourth row, all by his lonesome is 
the Lakewood Jammer. That is Joe Gibb. He also drives a Lucas Oil Pro Light Series truck as well. Underway, here we go. Inverted second heat race. BK7. Markham underneath. Meyer for second for the lead. He's trying to Meyer. Can't do it. Had a left front up on the berm. Boy, Meyer, the whiz, drives it in a mile. Yeah, Meyer getting through there now. But just a little... Sh He's just a little bit coming off. Markham working that opening that Rossmeyer gives him. Just a difference in entry in one. Rossmeyer a little high and in. And it might cost him here. And Meyer hanging tough in third. Here comes Gibb, though. Oh, look at that. Left front up on the berm for Markham. He's trying it. Meanwhile, the Lakewood Jammer coming. Joe Gibb in the double eights is fourth. Diddy in fifth. Story sixth. Well, I'll tell you, the two of Rosmeyer teasing him with that open door. But he is hooked up there in that, right up on that middle groove, about a groove and a half up. One to go. And Markham trying to set him up. Good run off of two. He can't get there quite. Going to be a drag race. Rossmeyer going to win it. Pretty cool. They high five, and uh, that's a good heat race right there. The Wiz, the Wisconsin Wiz, Brent Meyer, brings it home in third. The Lakewood Jammer with a nice run from the back, finishing up in the fourth spot. And uh, CKA, Sportsman Division, coming up next. Uh, don't know. I, I, I don't. It's all a game of angles and, uh, judgment. So, that's all I can say on that one. Here we go. The, the two is Tony Carosu. Daniel Watkins in the 15W. The 15 is Dan Watkins. The 29 is Glenn Lippitt Tower. And Rusty King in the 41. Here we go. Look at Lippy to the lead. But Carosu tried the crisscross applesauce, but it didn't work. So King puts the 41 into second. Down on the bottom. Here comes Watkins. So Carosu having a little problem. He fades the fourth. Not bad for his first time, though, I'll tell you what. The 41 of Rusty King. So Daniel Watkins in the 15W. That motor is definitely not happy. So he's gonna go. He's gonna go give it a little time out there in the pit area. And those of you wondering what the X is on the back of the helmet, that's a, when it's your first, uh, I believe it's four or five races, you got to have that X. 
So let everybody know that you're uh, new. So, Watkins, the two of Karosu, King, Lippy is gone. Here comes Lippy. Gordon, Glenn Tower going to win it. And Big, second, just now crossing the stripe. And that is uh, Dan Watkins. Third will be the two of Karosu. And then it will be the 41 of Rusty King. Vince Zimmer. Hi, how's the uh, how's the 73? Is it hurt bad? Uh, just spindle and tie rod. Nothing. We we had it happen before. A absolutely. He just had nowhere to go. I mean, that that was a. Some of them are just unavoidable. That's good news for Andrew Zimmer fans. So just a spindle. That crew's going to work. First round, unlimited all star, in the invert, and it's going to go down like this. On the point is Savannah and the Singleton in the 24. On the outside is Tyler Weber, the Pizza Co. Ultra Max. The 116 from Oli. In the shipwreck band, number 116, that's Zach Schmitz. On the outside is the 44 from Linwood. That is one time Shane Smith. You know that one time at band camp. And then on the third row. From Battleground and the Plumbing Works Northwest number seven, that's Stansberry. And Berg, here we go. Berg, that's the needle. Goes down to the bottom. Oh, it's Stansberry around again. I don't know if he had help or what. Wow, we. Look at Berg. He tried it from the parking lot, thought better of it. And he goes by Singleton. Look at Singleton. Weber starting to get the feel now. He moves to third. So Savannah Anna back around Weber and one. Weber back around. Shane Smith going to follow him through. Weber in third. Not for long. No, Smith goes in too hot. Hits the turn two wall. Weber goes by, he's third. Third, look out, Schmidt. Look at that, JP, number five, get it on. Weber is third. Tyler Weber's starting to get the feel of that piece of go, number four. Singleton. Sitting in fourth, Stansberry. And the fourth, he gets the ball, oh! and they get in. Singleton gets into the back of the seven. So we'll see uh, how that plays out. I'll tell you what, right now, uh, I mean, Berg is the man, but Tyler Weber, man, what a difference a heat race makes. I mean, he is really rolling the four. One time is there. He had a little problem. He got underneath him into one, but it was so tight that uh, it had a push, you know? And uh, it drifted up, turned, just hit the... Uh, not really hit, bumped the uh, turn two wall and uh, back to the last completed we go, which puts the one six team, oh no, it puts the five on the point, Bad Brad Berg, and he's got a piece underneath him right there. Make no doubt about that, the five is fast. Schmitz though, man, what a, uh, What a what a showing he's made the 116. Definitely uh, definitely got a piece underneath him there. And Tyler Weber, he's third, one time fourth, Singleton fifth. 
All right, so Stansberry going to do away with Singleton right away. 